retro people. Today we are going to be note detectives. We're going to explore some Apple software from ECS, Electronic Courseware Systems, which required a Passport MIDI interface. So I'm running this on an Apple IIGS that has Playman's um, reproduction of the Passport MIDI interface. And um, I'm using a Wombat to get the ADB import to a wireless keyboard and mouse. So press return to continue. Good. And there is Sherlock, the note detective. We're going to learn some secrets about notes and music. Oh boy. Just follow the directions I give you and have some fun. Okay, let's try to do that. Type in your first name. All right, let's try Uncle Fester. Welcome, new student. Okay, one moment, please. It's on a floppy disk, so I used ADT Pro to make a disk image from 4 a.m.'s crack, a silent crack of this program. So let's learn Grand Staff Note Recognition. Hello. I'm recording this on a MacBook uh, Air that's an ikinoscope to the monitor. Okay, so bass C to treble C. So uh, it's light out and you're going to see background light and me. Okay, bass C to treble C. Let's learn. Grand staff note reading. Press return. Well, it says enter on this Logitech keyboard. Hmm. All right, I should be familiar with treble and bass. How do you like the way there's square rounded corners? <laughs> they couldn't get a circle <laughs> in the font. All right, have fun as Sherlock shows you how to read music. Okay, this is middle C. And that's the C an octave above. And it just played that on the MIDI keyboard thanks to the Apple Passport MIDI interface clone. Now you have to play each note. So Sherlock is showing you where it is, and that's the high C on, and you have to play that note. And I just did. Now play the low C. Well, what if I get it wrong and play the same note? No, go down two Cs. No, go down one C. What if I play a D? No, try C. Okay, yes, that's a C. Now play a B. Now let's rush through these and get them right. That's a G. Yay! Oh, I'm really learning. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> but I got it right. D. Now that's a low, low. No, no, that's the D down here. Yep, D on bass clef. That's a B. Yeah, there are some where it goes really down, far down. Yay, press return. Okay, now play. I got to get 10 right. Let's see if I can get them all right. That is an E. Yeah, but that's here. No, did I? Oh, it's this. No, it's a, okay, so now it's an F. And I found that the program is a bit slow. Like if you press a key um, while it's still drawing, it's not gonna get it uh, in time. So it's an Applesoft program running uh, against the Passport interface just reading the um, ACIA. So it's not using interrupt, so it's, it could miss your notes. But for a kid learning how to play, wow, I'm learning a lot. That's a bass note, that's a B, yay. So it worked in its time. So imagine a school lab that had this set up for kids. Okay, you have four seconds, oh no. Now play it. Okay, you only see it for four seconds, and then you have to play the note. All right, and now play. Yep. Now let's see if I play it too fast. Now play the note. See, it doesn't read it. Okay, so now I got it right. So you got to pay attention, people. We've lost our attention. Okay, people, let's play. See that I'm learning. Okay, so assume the kids had some lessons. Okay, now play the note. No, try again. Uh-oh, I forgot the note. Go up two Cs. Okay, go up one C. Thank you. So it gives little hints. I have four seconds to play a D, but I... Oh, did it? No. Oh, wait, was I holding it down? Oh, no. I needed to press it within the time. 
Okay, that's a C. Yes, that's a C. We could have been a little more creative on the feedback, but maybe there was memory limits. If anyone wants a Kansas Fest project to rewrite this with the feedback like you get in that game, um, what's that game, Alien Downpour? That would be fun. All right, now we're gonna play the first note and the second note. So it's going from an E, and that's a, yeah, it's an E to a, a C, and then the C. Oh, Sherlock moved. <laughs> that's a shape table, probably. Okay, Sherlock the shape table. C. Let's see how, uh, I'm not recognizing it. There you go. I'm too fast for this machine. I'm too fast for the code, this Applesoft code that they're using for MIDI input. All right, C and a C. Mm -hmm. Good. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. That's the Star Trek theme. Uh, C to A. So that's a da da, and now we do a is that a what a an A to an E. Okay, there are later exercises on intervals, so I guess this is your uh, practice before you learn intervals. All right. Now, can you hear my washing machine in the background? I'm sure you can. This should be picking up all kinds of sound. All right, use the A or Z. Okay, let's go to the next section. I could use the arrows. I could use the Z key. Oh, it has to be a capital Z. So yeah, make sure you have caps locked down. All right, we're gonna run through this program. One moment, please. Am I recording? Yeah. Okay, watch Sherlock as he shows you the new notes. Ooh. Okay, this is what? Uh, it's a mode. Oh, I'm just playing. He's just showing me new notes. But um, when you have a scale on each note, you have different modes. All right. In A, down there. Yeah, you got to match up your keyboard to Sherlock and play. Okay, so he's they're showing you middle C and he's a B. Uh, yeah, down here. So that's down. So this is uh, yeah, we're way down. Now this is the lowest. Oh no, that's your C. He's on a high G. Good. And now that's your middle C point with the arrow and he's on a D. No, go up one D. Okay. Yeah, so they couldn't draw a bigger keyboard down there. That would have been nicer. All right. But this is what, 1989? Okay, A to C. They just needed to sell this to schools. All right, they want the high C. No? Okay, that, that's your middle C, and you are down here as an A. Okay, you gotta think. All right, that's middle C. You want the high G again? Good. And you're learning your notes. Turn. Okay, number to get right. So it's the same exercise with new notes. Right, let's see how fast we can do this. Shack keyboard that I'm using to play on. All right, and I just lost the notes. I'm gonna guess. No, try again. Try F. Now go up an F. Okay. Now I only have four seconds and I have to play the C. Good. So you just need a little tap on this after the four. 
and it's not C I C didn't recognize until I played it again. Three, four, and now it's looking. So it's peaking that ACIA register to see if I've played a note or not. And then it grabs the note from a MIDI note message, which is a 9-0 in hex. Okay. So if people want to experiment, they could try setting a different MIDI channel and seeing if it recognizes other MIDI channels, but I'm just demoing the base functionality. People want a Hackfest project on this, they could have fun about hooking up an Arduino and uh, cheating at it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Number to get right. We're going to spell words. This is fun. So we got a B. Okay, we're down to B. Okay. E, uh, e. B. Yeah, bed. Okay. How many words can we spell with music? Age. Okay. No, down here. Oops. A. Yep. Gotta be aged. That's me. I am aged. <laughs> Did you ever think this would run in 2022? Or were you just looking for short term profit? Bade. Okay, a five note, five letter word. C. Uh, that's appropriate for Star Trek Strange New Worlds. If you remember the cage, the pilot of Star Trek. about the ENIAC and how it did addition. Okay. F. Whoops. E-F-F-A. Oh, this is an S-A-T word. The face. The E-F face. I have a C-D face and an E-F face. <laughs> okay. A. Face. Accent. There's no N in music, but there is an H in music. That's a D. Exceed. So, see, music is valuable. It should be taught to everybody in school because it'll help you with your SAT words. Beat baggage. Rather than all the other baggage we're teaching you. you see, I should not be a teacher because I can't control my filter. Okay. Cabbage. <laughs> yeah. B. Uh, I'm playing with my left hand. Okay. Yay. Congratulations. Okay. I'm a note detective. Let's go on. All right. Ledger line. Ooh, the general ledger line. See, you can learn accounting with music. That's cute, the way they present these. So, yeah, it's two ledger lines, uh, the C to the C. So this is uh, structured learning, if you have a teacher that knows how to use it properly. Okay, kids, you get 10 minutes to play with the Apple computer. Oh. Yay. Oh, I want to play. No, I want to play. Get off that computer. Ah, that's my computer. Ah, no, it's not my computer. It's my computer. I could imagine what teachers dealt with in the labs of the day. Okay. Imagine the kids of today using this software. It's probably good for kids of today to see what software looked like back in the day and how lucky they are now with their augmented virtual, whatever they use, whiteboards, expensive stuff. 
How do you sell expensive stuff to schools? That is the question. To be or not to be in business, in the software business, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows. Okay. Uh, an E. Yes. Okay, D. Be nice to the computer. Okay, I got it right. No, I didn't didn't get it. It didn't hear me. Yeah, that'd be nice. An audio interface today. That's another project. Anyone want to build an audio interface to recognize the notes? I actually did some code like that for a university using Java and fast Fourier transformations. The objective was to see if a computer can recognize a student trying to learn to sing. Now try an E. Yeah, see, I'm not paying attention. All right. So what I figured out was that um, the kid can record themselves in Java with a microphone on their computer, and I'd have them record four seconds singing a note that was on the screen, and then it would use a fast Fourier transformation to um, look at the middle two seconds. So you ignore the first and the fourth second, and you take the second and third, and you get all 22,000 values in the uh, data because you're sampling the microphone. We're doing intervals now, good. Now, um, in, the Plato, in, in the Plato system back then, there was a program called Guido, which was about interval recognition. Okay, so the kids had to learn, yeah. Oh, that's nice, they're showing the intervals and playing them, so they're making good use of MIDI here. like to learn more about Guido, do more research on what it had and the capabilities and uh, how far it went, because I know they did some jazz with it. Okay, All right. so what do, I, what do you want me to identify by move Sherlock? Okay, so now it's an uh, Apple keyboard exercise. You get to move Sherlock around and look at that sword. I don't know if this is appropriate for these days. That's a baton? Okay. <laughs> it's a fourth. Yay! Good feedback. A second. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. What if you get it wrong? No, not correct. You should play bomb, ba -dum, bum, or something else. Brain's going. 52 year old brain. All right, now it's a fifth. Okay, now let's see what the. Yeah, so if you had a two plus, you could use the arrow keys. All right, I'm using the arrow keys. No! No! So is it going to make me do it all over? <laughs> Yeah, the toll gates in these old programs must have been interesting. And does your teacher get a record of your progress? Okay, so this is guessing what note, but just reading the top note. A fifth up from G is a D. So you really had to learn your major scales in order to do intervals which notes are in your major scales and are not. Okay, so I wonder if there's an advanced version of this software. Bum, bum. Okay. A second. 
down from F, so what key are you in? Are you in the key of C or the key of F? Okay. whether the kid was in tune or not by the number of cents off from the fundamental. So I had to do pitch detection of the students uh, singing and, uh, and then figure out the fundamental frequency that they were supposed to do from the example. Okay, now this is a little bit weird. You have to go down a third, up a fifth, and down a second. So G to spell a word. So G down a third. Okay, so what am I doing? Down three. So they want D. What are they trying to do here? Complete the interval chain. So G down a third is an E. Try A. So where are they getting that from? G down three. A. Okay. Oh, you have to do all three. So you go down a third, you go up a fifth, and then down a third. Age. Okay, down a fourth. Nope. Okay, up a fifth. And down a fourth. Age. Or you could just guess the word. F down a second, up a three. Up a third and then up a third. C, no, it's a B. All right, I'm not thinking. All right, F down a third, then up a fourth. D, no, it's up a fourth and then down a third. Good. B, E, F down a fourth, then up a fifth, and down a third. You could see how it's not responding to keystrokes in time. It's Applesoft slowness. They could have compiled this, but they only need a school to get a demo and buy it. Okay, D. Oh, okay, that's the down a third, up a fifth, and down a second. I want to take Sherlock with me to the exam. All right, what did I do here? F, down a third, up a fifth, and down a second. No? How do you get there? So from F, what are they doing here? F down a third, up a fifth to an A, and then down a second to a G. I think they're, oh, up a second. I can't see my arrow. Okay, F down a third, up a fourth, and down a third. B, E, beer, no. <laughs> Okay, down a third, up a fourth, and down a second. That's bound. So how did I get that wrong? Oh, up a second. B, E, B. Oh, wait a minute. B, F. Go down a third, then up a fourth, and then up a second. B, E, A. Oh, it's that bear. Not the, not the beer I was thinking of. Okay, so down a fifth, and then up a fourth and then down a second. So I've been thinking bead. All right, starting at G, go down a fifth, and then up a third, and down a third. <laughs> they cancel out, you gotta see. All right, down a third, up a fifth, and then down a second. Okay, all right, G, down a fourth, up a fifth, and down a second, cage. And down a second, up a third, and down a fourth, cage. Strange new worlds, I'm enjoying it. All right, G down a second, up a fourth. Uh, there was one show where they encountered a civilization that uses music for communication, and that was fun, seeing Ahura as a kid. All right, down a fourth, F. G down a fifth. 
up a second, up a second. Feces. <laughs> Ugh. Fe down a third, up a fifth, down a fifth. Feed, feed me. Little shop, little shop of horrors, little shop, little shop of horrors, little shop. Feed. So why am I not getting this? Uh, down a fourth, up a fifth, you get to A, and down a fourth, you get to. From A, you go one. Oh, up a fourth. Okay. I can't see my arrows. Feed me. F down a fourth. Up a third, down a second. Dead. <laughs> F E. Yeah, dead beef feed. <laughs> so you could do hex in music. I think I've done that in some of my songs in Nox Archaeus. There are secret messages. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, down a third, up a fourth, and down a third. D E. Did I got it right? Yeah, I did. F down a second, up a fifth, and down a second. Dead. Okay, down a fourth, up a third, and down a second. Yes, dead. Uh, I don't know if this would pass today. You're going to traumatize kids. All right. One, two, three, four, up a fourth, and down a second. Where were we? We're from a G, so we're an F. All right, F down a third, up the fifth, gets to B, and down a second gets to A. Yeah, so you should do it without moving. So G down a fifth goes to C, up a fourth goes to F, and down a third goes to D. G down a fourth to D, up a third to F, down a second to E, and we fade out. Fade In, that's a reference to the Paramount Plus series, The Offer, which is fascinating, about how the Godfather movie almost didn't get made. Okay, down a second, up a second, so we're just gonna go up a fourth to C. All right, a three-letter word beginning with C. C-A-T, no, no T. Down a second, up a fifth, uh, to a C, down a third, to an A. Yay, C, A, cab, down a third to E, up a fourth to A, up a second to B. Okay, so write code that will generate all musical words and all hex words. That's a nice hackfest project to run on Twitter into that bot in a one line 200 word bot, uh, 200 character bot. All right, so here you got a down a three to D, up a fourth to G, down a third to E. Down a fifth, uh, B flat. <laughs> um, up a fourth to E, down a second to D. Ed, down a second E to B, down to G, edge. Let's guess that it's an E without looking at the this is not timed. Okay, so you go to a B, up to a B, and down a second to E. Egg, <laughs> down a second, up a fourth to A, and up a second to B. EB, ebb, down a second, up a third, up a third. Yep, ebb. Okay, then the kids should have to define what the word means. Ebb and flow of tides. Go to next section. Am I done yet? Am I done yet? Reading sharps and flats. Okay. To add a final touch to your reading skills, you need to know the flat and the sharp. Okay. And a lowercase b <laughs> to indicate a flat. On your two plus, you need a lowercase. Ooh, g flat. Okay, sharp raises to the upper neighbor. G sharp. I'm just hitting enter here. Practice playing G flat. Play slowly so the computer can keep up. All right, let's read. A 
Okay, place the key that matches the note on the staff. Play the F flat. No, go down one F flat. That's an E. All right, play a C sharp. Uh, e sharp. You're learning your enharmonics. F flat. Yeah, this is like early high school level, I'd say. G sharp. I had intervals in junior high school. D flat. I don't know what level it would be these days because I've heard kids get into college music programs without knowing how to read music. And that was one of the reasons I was hired as a consultant. And when I, they needed a remedial music theory class. Back in the days of, what, 2002? When it was possible for a smart person to go into business by themselves and work with professors at a diner and get access to an SF to an FTP server for uploading code and web pages and creating an online class that used Java applets. Congratulations! I'm a note detective too. Level two. Okay, try this again or go to section menu. I think I've made it. I've completed the whole disc. Yes, I did. Now, what do I do? I go play again. There's no exit. Turn off your computer. On the GS, when you're in GSOS, there's a special menu and then it says turn off. And then you get your choice to reboot or turn off. And it looks like a Mac. You can now turn off your computer safely. Well, thanks for your patience through all this. Have fun. Until next time.